Hello, everyone. All right, we are ready to rock Wednesday, April 15th with Miss Nora being our special helper. Let's get ready to say the pledge and then we'll start our morning message and do all of our morning binder work. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, Miss Nora, let's get her ready for singing our special helper song. Here we go. Who is special? Who is special? Look and see, look and see. Someone very special, someone very special. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. All right, Miss Nora and all of you. Time to write our morning message. I bet you're getting to be pros at this. Remember, quality kindergarten work, holding that pencil correctly, even if it's not handwriting time, we need to be making our frog jump capitals correctly, doing our uppercase and lowercase letters correctly. Lots of magic C letters today in that message. Maybe if you have a little time, you could go on a magic C letter hunt. That's always a fun thing to do with your message boards. All right, Nora's gonna get ready to read it to us, and then we'll move right on to all of the rest of your binder work. Here we go. Dear Kindergarten, today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Nora is the special helper. Love, Mrs. Oberg. All right, Nora Scholdahl has her name down here. Four letters in Nora's first name and eight letters in Scholdahl. Start counting on from the biggest number, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Four plus eight equals 12 letters in all. All right, now you know you're going to be taking all of Nora's letters from her name. Build your words. Fill out all of your morning message binder pages. There, make sure that you're writing your own name correctly. Super strength, space power in between your first and last name. And then make sure that you have taken care of Nora's first and last name number sentence. All right, today for handwriting, we have some word practice to do and a sentence to do. So today, make sure when you're doing your handwriting, you are tracing over our words up at the top. Run, run. Ooh, let's try this. Let me get my clip. And we will clip this on. Let's use our Let's use that slinky that Reader Man gave us yesterday. Here we go. Let's stretch that word out. Er a n run. No tall letters, no basement letters. Trace it, write it, right between the lines. Ooh, now, snap word. We know the next word is a snap word that we've been using all the time in kindergarten. And, and there is a tall letter. Make sure you're making your magic C's to make your letters. And then we have dive and swim and splash N. Now, let's use our slinky to sound out this next word. N, a, t. Here we go, stretch it together, net. N, a, t, net. Tall letters, 
And then make sure you do your sentence. Pam saw a mouse. Trace it, write it down below. And then on the back side today, we have more words to work on, or more letters to work on with our big high dive letter H. Look at this. We know he dives down, swims up and splashes. So high dive today, you have to start way up tall and dive down and stop and don't go in the basement. Do your best, help her hand, finger on your pencil correctly. I know you can do it. All right, now we wanna talk a little bit about Reader Man. Yesterday, Reader Man didn't only bring us these slinkies, he brought us that amazing poem. That's your homework poem this week. And Reader Man said to Nora and all of you, use your sound power. And it's the, we have sound power. Yes, we do. So let, let's get ready. I'm going to get the poem up. You get ready to do your sound power work with Mrs. Oberg because it's so important when we're reading and writing. So here we go. All right, are you ready, kindergarten? Nora, right here with us. We have sound power. We have sound power, yes we do. We have sound power, how about you? Look at the picture, say the first sound. Move your eyes to the end and read what you found. Get ready. We have sound power, yes we do. We have sound power, how about you? Now, boys and girls, you probably noticed that there are some words written with double colors. Do, you, sound, found. Do, you. Nora, what do those words do? They rhyme, they rhyme. So, see if you can find those rhyming words on your poems at your house. And tomorrow we're going to do some work on some other things in this poem. All right, use that sound power. Do 10 minutes of private reading today. And make sure, boys and girls, you're using these slinkies. If you come to a word you're not sure of, stretch it out. Reader Man says... Look at the picture, say the first sound, and then read to the end, and read the sounds at the end of the words too. And we know it takes hard work and persistence power with all of our sound power. Do your best and enjoy reading. It's a fabulous, fabulous thing to do every day. All right. The next jobs we have today, I think we're pretty much pros at all of this. Do our calendar work? Miss Nora told us this morning, it is April 15th. So we need to write, fifth, whoops, 15. Check the weather, see what the weather is, and then make sure you're singing that song. Good practice for our reading. We don't just read at reading time. We read all across our day. Math reading is just as important. And of course, Miss Nora, today we need to take a peek at 15 in the middle. I still have yesterday's work because I'm not going to start a new page. But make sure when you're doing the part, part, whole, it's 10 and 5, and make your number sentence. 
And I'm just going to cross it out and write 15. Nora's upside down. Do all of your work on your number page. Is 15 odd or even? Remember, when we're talking about that number, we look at the digit in the ones place. The digit in the ones place to figure out if it's odd or even. Do your best. All right. Now, today we're going to work on a hundreds chart game. All of you have a hundreds chart at your house that is laminated and it actually goes to 110. But here's what Nora and I are going to get ready today. We're going to put our kindergarten hundreds chart up. And you guys know all about this important chart. We used it every day in our kindergarten room, and you have your own little one at home now. So today your math game is to play games with your hundreds chart. So Nora's going to whisper a number to Mrs. Oberg, and I'm going to kind of play guess my number with you and show you a little bit how to play this, okay? Then you can go ahead and play it at home. Okay. Nora told me, I'm thinking of a number that is two more than 15. So I'm pointing to 15. One, two, 17. Yep, you're right. All right, Nora's going to tell me another math riddle. Thinking of a number. Okay. I'm thinking of a number that is three less than 30. So I'm going to point to 30 and think about what is three less than 30. 27! Yay! Great job. Oh, oh, she says she's got a really tricky one. Get ready, guys. Oh, okay. She's thinking of a number seven more then 55. So I have to point to 55 and go seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 62! Hooray! All right, you play this hundreds game at home with your family and have fun. Enjoy it. All right, and then we're going to move on today to our writing work, and today your writing work is from your choice boards. Mrs. Oberg wants all of you to think about people in our communities that are really being super helpful right now, like doctors and nurses and people delivering the mail, people working in grocery stores, all of the people that are still going to work every day to make everybody be able to get the things they need. So, I want you today to write a thank you note. Draw a picture, write thank you to someone that's helping in our community. And if you have your slinky handy, let's try to stretch out how we're going to spell that word thank. Here we go. Let's get ready. I'm going to flip over our paper. Let's stretch it out first, then we'll talk about what letters we'll want to write. All right, here we go. Thank. Let's do it again. Ooh, that's, oh, oh, oh. Get those resources out. There is Thumb sounds just like thank. So we know it's going to start with T-H. A. Thank. K -k. Hmm. Thank. There it is. Thank. Hey, you? Why, oh, you? Oh, man, that's 
that's a snap word. I can look right on my snap word page if I'm not sure, or I know it in my brain. Thank you. There you go. So work hard, use all of these materials Mrs. Oberg sent, and then think about, did you do your best to spell out your words? Did you check to make sure you have spaces between words, that you're starting with an uppercase letter, that you're using punctuation at the end of a sentence, and how about adding more if you're done, making sure it makes sense. And instead of just saying thank you, you could say thank you for helping. Thank you for working. Do your best. Make a beautiful picture to make someone's day a brighter day. All right. And that is all of our work for today. And we want to thank Miss Nora and all of you. Rock it at home. Have a great one.